Hello everyone. Welcome to our channel. Information Briefcase. Today we're going to learn about what things highly intelligent people do differently. Now, let's begin. Albert Einstein, Isaac Newton, Wright Brothers, Aristotle, all these people above have one thing in common about them. That is higher intelligence. These people have contributed life-changing works that have shifted the direction of humankind to next level. They are the most noteworthy human intelligence, which many people re trying to achieve. In any case, since you haven't demonstrated Fermat's last theorem or made an extraordinary commitment to science or arts, doesn't mean you don't have intelligence. Regardless of whether it's doodling constantly or always curious about the world, certain character or habits that you do can end up being an indication of high intelligence. So here I mentioned list of things that highly intelligent people do. Number 1. Doodling. Has this happened to you previously? You're in a lecture or a conference that has continued for a really long hours. Even if you feel it's boring, you've begun to take notes, yet, after some time, your page is filled in doodles. Doodling is your cerebrum's method of attempting to keep on track and also processing. Researchers have taken a look at the cerebrums of doodlers and track down activity in the prefrontal cortex, which is engaged with logical reasoning, memory, problem solving, and rational thinking. A review led by scientists in a university in UK examined people's degrees of commitment. Also, memory during a mock telephone call observed that the people who doodled held 29% more data than the people who didn't. Number 2. Adapting. Is it true that you are ready to adjust to various conditions easily? Intelligence isn't just characterized only by the capacity to accumulate a great deal of data or by repeated memorization of data, but your capacity to effectively adjust to changes according to your surroundings. This is because it requires numerous intellectual process, like perception, learning, memory, and problem solving. Subsequently, having the option to rapidly and productively utilize the collected data to your benefit is an indication of high intelligence. N Number 3. Open-minded. It is safe to say that you are open to various opportunities. Do you feel excited learning about new things? Different studies have researched the connection between openness and knowledge. Also, track down that the level of your openness can really influence your fluid intelligence. In this way, being open-minded signals intellectual adaptability and flexibility, which is the thing that keeps you curious and prepared to learn. But keep in mind that knowledge can't be easily measured furthermore, it's not fixed. In this way, continue learning and surprise yourself. Number 4. Questioning everything. Do you use every opportunity you get to learn more about this world? Exceptionally curious and intelligent people consider every moment to be a chance to learn. As indicated by a university review article, CQ or curiosity quotient, combined with EQ and IQ, decides your capacity to solve complexity and data overload. It clarifies why many recruiting managers need competitors who appear to be curious and reliable. Since people who are very curious are more excited to look for answers and learn more. This also implies that they collect more knowledge throughout their life than the people who just depend on their intelligence. Number 5. Getting bored. Do you get exhausted a great deal? Boreness emerges in light of the fact that you're excited about being in new environment, but you're confronted with difficulties that keep you from engaging with it. While being bored is disappointing, it's really essential for intelligence and knowledge. A 2019 report distributed in the Academy of Management Discoveries tracked down that members who are approached to play out an unremarkable sorting task performed higher in the later imaginative part of the study than the individuals who are approached to make a complicated story with respect to why they identify with an occasion. Number 6. Understand yourself. You accept that you don't know everything. It is safe to say that you are able to distinguish your strengths and your shortcomings. Smart individuals are regularly seen as being overconfident. But really clever people realize that they don't know everything. Accepting that you don't know it all shows significant degrees of self-realization, just as metacognition. Highly intelligent individuals know their strengths and shortcomings. Also, feel urged to learn more. Number 7. Seeking information. Is it true that you are continually looking for data? The connection amongst learning and intelligence is clarified by neuroplasticity. The mind's capacity to rebuild itself. When you gain some new useful knowledge, your brain is making electrochemical pathways to get to that information. In any case, the key is repeating. Repeating knowledge can reinforce the pathways your neurons have made. 
The more pathways you make, more knowledge will flow to your brain. Number 8. Self-criticizing. Do you generally think about your choices and activities? When we think about intelligence, we regularly think about information-based intelligence. There are many sides to our intelligence. One part of it is the capacity to understand anyone emotional intelligence or EC. Those with significant degrees of IQ are self-aware and thoughtful. They have a clear picture of who they are like their feelings, needs, and desires. Hence, they're more probable to set up significant connections and to accomplish their objectives. Let us know if you've done any of the things we've listed in the comments below. Thank you for watching the video. If you enjoyed this video, don't forget to subscribe, like, share, and comment below. Please press the bell button to get notification.